There's a lot of misinformation online when it comes to security cameras and frame rate. Some people believe you need a high frame rate camera to capture vehicle license plates, or that a low frame rate results in blurry footage. Even ChatGPT says that a high frame rate can reduce motion blur and enhance the details captured by the camera. However, this is just plain wrong. To find out how frame rate really affects an image, I installed a security camera outside our office to record between 3 and 30 frames per second. I drove past the camera at 20 kilometers per hour, that's 12 and a half miles per hour for the US folks, and repeated this multiple times at different frame rates. My goal was to see if the license plate gets blurrier as the frame rate decreased. I started the test at 30 frames per second, which is the highest available on this camera. Slowing the footage down, we can see that the license plate was captured clearly as I drove past. No issues here. At 20 frames per second, the video is not quite as smooth, but we can still read the license plate clearly. At 12 frames per second, the car travels more distance between frames, and the video is slightly jittery, but the license plate is still nice and clear. Next, I lowered the frame rate down to 8 frames per second. The video is starting to look quite choppy, but once the car passes by, we can see that the license plate looks just as sharp as before. Finally, I wanted to see what happens if we lower the frame rate down to a ridiculous 3 frames per second. Before I show you the footage, can you guess what will happen to the vehicle's license plate? Will it be sharp or blurry? If you guessed sharp, you're correct. At 3 frames per second, the vehicle looks like it's teleporting rather than driving smoothly, but we can still read the license plate clearly. So, we just proved that a lower frame rate does not result in motion blur. But why do so many people think that it does? I think a lot of people are confusing frame rate with shutter speed. They sound similar, but they are not quite the same thing. Frame rate is a measure of how many images a video plays back per second. In our last example, we're getting 3 frames for every second the video plays. That's why it's called frames per second. Shutter speed is something entirely different. It's how long the camera's image sensor is exposed to capture an image. Most security cameras have what's called an electronic shutter, and the shutter speed is adjusted automatically for optimal exposure without us needing to do anything. On a cloudy day like today, the shutter speed of the camera is very quick, around 1 1,000th of a second. This is fast enough to capture moving vehicles without any blur or ghosting. So, no matter which frame rate we choose, the camera's images are going to be sharp and precise. And if you're wondering why we didn't test 60 frames per second, it's because the camera we used didn't support it. Within the entire Uniview lineup, there are only a small number of cameras that can record at 60 frames per second. And this is true for most camera manufacturers. However, we do have one camera that can record at 60 frames, which is the license plate recognition camera pointed towards the street. On the left side of the screen, the footage is set to 30 frames per second, while on the right side, it's set to 60. While it does look quite smooth, it doesn't result in any more detail compared to the 30 FPS footage. So, if higher frame rates look smoother, why would anyone want to use a lower frame rate on their camera? Well, higher frame rates will use more storage space, reducing the amount of video you can store on the hard drive. We did a quick test and found that by lowering the frame rate, we were able to save a significant amount of space. Going from 30 to 3 FPS, resulted in a 70% reduction in bandwidth. So if you don't mind the choppy footage in live view, lowering the frame rate of your camera could be a great way to extend the recording time of your system. So, I hope you were able to understand more about security cameras and frame rates through this example. If you see someone spouting incorrect information online, be sure to share this video with them so they can learn too. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in the next one.